welcome to the stream today. Uh, I know there's been a few concerns with the grand sale that we've done, which is why we're here today. Let's get things started, mind. Are you there? Oh, yes, I am. Hello, everyone. Hello, Ryan. Nice to see quite a bit of people already in the audience. Uh, that makes me happy. We get more and more people every time. It's been a, a crazy time, of course, especially with some of the community feedback. So that's why we're here to settle things down and try to, you know, explain some things again. I hope this will, you know, settle the people and stop the FUD because, you know, FUD is never good for any project. But uh, yeah, we're here to clear things up and keep everyone on the same page. I don't know whether you guys are following a lot of projects uh, in the space, but we are one of the few projects that actually listen, respond uh, to the community's concerns. And this entire stream is a dedication to our community. The best uh, way to express your concerns or your uh, thanks or, or your happiness or whatever feelings you have is uh, through constructive comments. Try to understand where we're coming from, how the business is run and how everything works in general. And uh, I think that will help us to be on the same page. Topic number one, unfairness toward earlier investors. Earlier investors paid more. Earlier investors had to wait a longer time for any ROI. ROI for late investors is better. Opportunity cost higher for earlier investors. Mind, maybe you could discuss a few business reasons behind the sale to help give the audience and the community a, a bigger understanding. So first of all, I would just like to say that uh, we still are like a sort of a startup uh, type of company and uh, we're experimenting on things as well. And some of the experiments don't turn out as we hoped they would. One of the things is why we are doing this. We always need new users. So we do some temporary promotions all the time to attract new users. I understand where this is coming from. And now we feel that if your guys are not happy, then we might change it in the future. But mainly it was the reason to make a temporary promotion to attract new users, to give a good chance for early investors as well to, to get a better price. Also, I would like you to understand that, you know, things take time and the time costs money. People cost money. Uh, the revenue does not always equate the, the profit made. There is a thing called turnover. So you... Uh, earn some money, you spend it somewhere. Staff, there are game developers, there's web developers, marketers, game designers, operation specialists, content creation, brand awareness, and PR, and user acquisition. Not all marketing strategies are or and options are profitable. Uh, some deliver zero results, but that's why I, I said it, you know, we're experimenting and testing ways of, you know, how to attract users. And in crypto world, sometimes is a bit different and especially when the crypto market crash is happening it's made the things tougher sometimes important to take a look at the, our balance sheet and to need to drive up sales a little bit to kind of cancel out uh, the loss if, if we're not earning at some period uh, because uh, if we would uh, you know just continue on like we did last year without making money it's impossible to to keep up the project and we're looking into the future uh, because we want to finish the project as good, good as it is. And with extra money, we can deliver extra functionality and make it even better because uh, we need more investors. We need more gamers. We need a bigger community. Early investor advantages. Mines, can you tell everyone a little bit more about the early investor advantages? Yes, of course, of course. Well, early investor advantages is something that people are usually, you know, expecting. And there were some exclusive features, participation in early events. You got to, you know, participate in the journey together with the, see how the project evolves. You got access to huge early airdrops, pop-up events, community events, and giveaways in the previous year. Actually, there were some, you know, lower prices as well. There were some sales. I don't think you guys missed it and uh, most of you still got uh, a better price than uh, that was uh, the base price. Being at the start of the project, some of your voices has definitely helped shape uh, Wizardia as it is today. There was access to exclusive Wizard NFTs and we will try to find other ways how to do it in the future also. How often do you get the chance to really have a say in the shaping of a company and, and its growth? Yeah, so future possibilities is always a speculative subject. Definitely, there might be some future early investor airdrops, some opportunities for in-game NFT or some sort of accessories or skins or, you know, early access to new wizards, new consumables, some, some testing opportunities, some skins before release, some giveaways, some competitions, some extra discounts as well. Devaluation of Arena Genesis NFT. The main counter argument is probably that more Arena Genesis NFT owners will bring more new users 
and new players into Wizardia, which will increase the value of passive rewards. And the passive rewards, I think, is what makes the Arena Genesis NFT great. And that only comes with the higher amount of players. So our aim is to increase the value of its passive reward returns and in that way to increase the value of uh, Genesis NFTs. Wizardia is rug pulling. Mind, explain why we're not doing this and explain what we've got to look forward to. That's always an interesting one to see. It's uh, a bit disappointing sometimes, you know, especially when you're working hard, trying your ass off. Yeah, but it has to be addressed. It does not really make sense from Wizardia's point as a company to continue investing money into game development, coming to these streams, adding more features. If our goal was to rug pull, it's not the right time to do it now, definitely. If you want to do a rug pull, make a shit coin. Don't show your face. Don't hire people. Just make a small group of people. Hype it up and uh, just run away with money. Our goal is to create a project to bring it to version 1.0 and uh, then see where it takes us you know the, the main goal is you know to really deliver what we promised and see what we can do with it so i mean i would just like to say <laughs> once and for all we're not doing a rug pull rest assured that you know if you're even if you're not happy with how the project is moving it does not mean that the project is you know screwing everyone and just running away even though things may seem like they're taking a little bit of time, we are releasing new updates at a steady pace. We've got new arenas, new wizards, we're going to have new consumables, we've got PvP, PvE, sponsored tournaments, play to earn duels, and so much more. Questions from the community. Potato fan, you've got six questions. Well, I think we can take uh, this bunch as a whole. The true revenue, what we have reached, uh, it does not equate to the profit made because, you know, turnover is one thing and profit is uh, another. So we uh, continue actively to spend on marketing, especially last year was really heavy on that because for us it was the main goal to create as much awareness as possible and uh, then the crypto market crashed and we needed to, to downsize and we stopped moving at the very fast pace that we were. So additionally, salaries of specialists that work on Wizardi also take up a big share of these expenses. So revenue does not equal profit. How much money is left in the project? I will not go into a number there, but uh, the main thing is that we still have time to run through 15 to 18 months if nothing is happening. That's why we're, you know, doing some sales and trying to, to, you know, to increase our revenue as well. How do you allocate budgets? That's a really, you know, technical question. I, I don't also feel that's fair to, to just give away or all of business plan or whatever. Mainly the allocation currently, the staff, game development, and a little bit of marketing and partnership. And uh, the rest money is waiting for to be spent in the future. And we are not like wasting money, do it as fast as possible. We're trying to, you know, fill out the market and uh, we will invest much more into marketing uh, when the market conditions are better. What are your plans for token liquidity? Do you plan to spend dollars to support uh, the economy of the game? We plan to, to spend uh, money or to support the economy of the game. First investment into the economy of the game is of course to create the economy of the game. And I think it's a bit too early to, to discuss this question uh, on, on how. The increase of token value and uh, the increase of uh, token utility is the, is the priority. But the game economy is uh, something that's coming up in the future stages. And then uh, when we have more players, it's much more worth to support the economy of the game. What options will people have for making money? Real money is always connected to the in-game rewards uh, that we have. So token can be sold and can be earned. The passive revenues from uh, uh, NFTs also could be uh, said that it's real money. I don't know any project that has stable coins, but... Uh, in the future, if you have like a grand tournament where, you know, you really have a certain amount of, uh, of players participating, I don't see why not. A roadmap and your planned deadlines. So we are releasing our roadmap uh, quarterly now. We feel that it's the best way to track for us and for the community to see what's happening next. Quarter two roadmap will appear in a short time on the website as well. And what game mechanics we will release will also be seen there. The next step is the uh, base building and uh, all the crafting stuff. And uh, you will see it for yourself in the future streams and on the website as well. When our investments start to work, 
the first uh, feeling of uh, it starting to work is when the play to earn duos are released and when the uh, arena NFTs uh, start generating revenue. And as the player base grows, that investment will start to, to grow as well. Flamel666 says, beyond the problem of the NFT discount, where I hope you will find a solution to reward the first investors, I would like to say that the game mechanics are too simple. There is little strategy. You need to add some strategic details, such as a random thing, animals that give various effects, maybe add a campaign, add a growth component of the character or account, add guilds, add leagues, Things already seen in many other titles, but it is necessary to make everything more complex and compelling. We are actually doing those things as we speak. Consumables give effects. Creatures, I don't know how they're going to impact. Leveling is coming this year. We've also got wizard renting available. Soon wizard lending to guilds will become available. Um, so all these things are in motion. Yeah, I like the comment actually. It's an answer in itself because we are planning to have most of these things. For example, character progression, you know, it's like wizard progression system, everything, you know, all these things are coming up and like leaderboards and as you mentioned, like leagues. Discounted sales attract people is the biggest misconception that developers believe. I'm a developer myself and I've seen this kitchen from the inside. Only marketing works. Uh, people come only to make money. We're not in a bull market when people were coming in on their own until your current investors start making money and spread the word that there is finally money here for players. There will be no success. You can keep selling all you want, but even with the 55% discount, for some reason we see people are very reluctant to buy. You are right. Uh, marketing does work. Uh, marketing is also very expensive. You've got to remember above marketing is player retention. There's no point spending a fortune on marketing to bring players over that don't want to stay because the game's not that fun or because there's no leveling or because the game's missing out on a few things, which is a huge reason as to why we're building that player base. We're building the game and making it fun. So that way people do want to come and that way people do want to talk. It is a double-edged sword. Our timing is absolutely crucial to this. And with the current market, we have had to go down towards a more stable route in terms of making sure it's fun, making sure it's immersive. That way, once it is at that level, we can go back towards marketing and then grow it faster, which means you're going to have a lot quicker ROI. Perhaps, mind you, want to elaborate. Should the market come up uh, again, that's the time to start much more active marketing. We need a, a bit more functionality in the game. So I think quarter two will bring that and uh, the game uh, with much more economy functions and like some droppable items, some uh, crafting stuff and progression system. That's what uh, rounds it up and uh, makes it possible for a game to be entering beta stage, at which point is uh, possible to, to spread the word and uh, attract more people and to show them that there is real money in this. Formel has said consumables are too tied to pay to win, mm -hmm. not a good thing in the long run completely <laughs> and uh, this was not the decision that we wanted to make at first but we wanted to introduce the consumables in some way uh, it was uh, a way also to get a little bit of extra revenue but uh, in the future this is not the way we are the, not the route uh, we are going for uh, it definitely the consumables should be one of the craftable items that you earn by playing the game and only buy them if you don't have time to play or you don't want to play and just uh, have a full stash of consumables that you want. The plan is to actually, you know, make those consumables uh, tradable and uh, the players should be controlling most of the markets. There are uh, opportunities just to get them by playing uh, as well as sign into your account every day. Yeah, that really wraps us up for today. Thank you everyone so much for coming. If you have any further questions, we have an AMA section on Discord where you can come over and ask whatever questions you want. I'm happy, you know, that uh, we got this uh, into the air. Maybe it even will, will push us uh, to work more harder and uh, make some more things happen. So thank you guys all for coming. Thank you for listening. Cheers, guys. Take care and we'll see you then.